Hello friends! So this week I wanted to do kind of a fun video that kind of was more of a reflection on my reading. Um, I saw Gabby at Gabby Reads do a reacting to five star predictions video where I think it was a couple of months ago she did a video with like five books that she thought was going to be five stars and once she read them she went back and kind of went over her thoughts and explained whether they were five stars, whether they weren't. And I wanted to do that but like I don't, I don't like predicting ratings because then I feel like I go a little bit into my head and like I get into my head and I don't know. Anyway, I didn't want to do predicting five star books or reacting to predicting five star books. So I thought I would go on to Book Outlet and look at the first couple of orders that I did on Book Outlet and see how many of those books I've read and what I rated the ones that I have. I need to learn to read the books that I buy. <laughs> that is what this has taught me. Um, there are a lot of books to get through and there are actually a lot of books I still own because they're still on my TBR and I haven't gotten to them yet. So let's go ahead and get started. If I look down, I am looking at the notebook that I wrote all of the information that I wanted to be sure to say. So the first book outlet order was October 18th, 2017. I ordered four books. That was when you still had the like shipping scale. It wasn't like spend so much and get free shipping. So I only ordered four books. I still own all four of them. I read all four of them and actually surprisingly they were all rated four stars. So I have Suddenly Royal by Nicole Chase. I really enjoyed this one. I don't know why I've never continued on with the series. I think just because I've never actually like seen them to grab them. But I would continue on with the series. It was really good. I have Leaving Amarillo by Casey Quinn. This was a rock star romance that I really enjoyed. This is the first in the series. I have... Hold On Tight and Until the End. This is the final two books in the Seabree series by Abby Glines, and I love this series. My next order was, I'm assuming, part of the Boxing Day sale. I placed the order December 28th, 2017. I ordered 12 books. I still own seven. I've read four, and there was one DNF. So out of the 12, I've gotten to five of them. I need to read more books that I own. First off, I have Crash by Nicole Williams. Haven't gotten to this one yet. I have Even in Paradise by Chelsea Philpo. Haven't gotten to this one yet. Better When He's Bold by Jay Crownover. This is not the first in the series, and I have not gotten to this one yet. Missing Dixie by Casey Quinn. This is the third book in the series, the Rockstar Romance series. I rated this one four stars. Diplomatic Immunity by Brody Ashton. I have not gotten to this one yet. Better When He's Brave by Jay Crownover. This is not the first in the series and I have not gotten to this one yet. Romancing the Throne, which I gave two stars and I no longer own. Ruthless, which was a DNF, which I no longer own. And Satisfaction, which is in the same series that I do no longer own. First and Then, which I rated three stars and did enjoy, but just probably wouldn't have ever reread it, so I no longer own it. The Flip Side by Sean Johnson, which I have not gotten to yet. And finally for this order, When Dimple Met Rishi, which I gave three stars and did enjoy, but again, probably would have never reread it and no longer own it. My next order was about a year ago on May 23rd, 2018. I ordered 10 books. I still own 8 of them. I read 3 and had 2 DNFs. Blush for Me by Kristen Proby. This was a 4 star read for me. Hottest Mess by Jay Kenner. Have not gotten to this one yet. Last Kiss, which was a DNF for me because it was not the first in the series and I wasn't enjoying it enough to look up the first. I no longer own it. I have The Bet and The Wager by Rachel Van Dyken. These are both 4 star reads for me. And I got them signed at Book Bonanza, which is, I think, initially why I placed the order. In Ruins, which was a DNF for me, and I no longer own it. Love Unscripted and Love Unrehearsed. I bought these because she was a Book Bonanza author, but then she sadly had to cancel it, and I just never made them a priority. I have not gotten to these yet. Everywhere and Every Way and Anytime, Any Place by Jennifer Probst. I have not gotten to either one of these yet. Finally, the last order I'm going to talk about today was last year's 
Boxing Day sale, which I actually think I did a video on. Place the order 12 26 2018. There were 20 books. I still own 15. I've read 9 and had 2 DNF. Salvaged by Jay Crownover. I have not gotten to this one yet. The Last of August, which I no longer own. Girls Who Travel by Nicole Tril Trilovis. I have not gotten to this one yet. It is on the TBR for a readathon next month. The Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh, which I don't think, which I've not actually started yet, but I bought this for my niece. I just haven't given it to her yet for some reason. Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. I have not gotten to this one yet. It is on the TBR for a readathon next month. Better Than Perfect by Simone Elkalis. I have not gotten to this one yet. The Anatomical Shape of a Heart by Jen Bennett. I have not gotten to this one yet. Right Kind of Wrong by Chelsea Fine. I have not gotten to this one yet. Best Kind of Broken by Chelsea Fine. I have not gotten to this one yet. It is on the TBR for a readathon next month. Ruin and Rule. I rated this one three stars and I no longer own it. As well as Sin and Suffer, the sequel. I rated a one star and I no longer own it. Come Back to Me by Mila Gray, I rated this one five stars. Stay With Me by Mila Gray, I rated this one five stars. Run Away With Me, My Sister Currently Has, I rated this one a three stars. American Panda was a DNF for me and I no longer own it. Keep Her Safe was four stars. Love and Luck, My Sister Currently Has, and it is it was a four star read for me. And finally, A Study in Charlotte, which I DNF'd and I no longer own. So those are the many, many books I've ordered from Book Outlet that I have not gotten to yet. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Maybe I'll find a way to do something else kind of similar to it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!